Well, New Year's Eve forces us to reflect on the year that passed and make goals for the future. And in the Twin Tiers, leaders are also looking out for the future of their communities. And today, Laura, I spoke to a few leaders about where they see their communities going in 2013 and what they hope for in the new year. And I have no doubt in my mind that um, uh, this community, uh, Elmira itself as a whole, can really come back to life. In Elmira, Pastor Bobby Smith from the Shabak Tabernacle has been a big part of his community in 2012. The renovations to his church on Lake Street in Elmira are in full swing, and he hopes in 2013 his community will come together. Yes, I really believe that uh, uh, one of the most important things that I think that would really bring the community together is unity. Is, you know, uh, everybody just, and when I say everybody, I mean, you know, from from City Hall right down to ground zero people, you know, that we, we work together. In Corning, 2013 will bring a lot that's new. Projects like the new transportation center, the construction of a new high school, new Corning Community College dorms, and a new hospital will change Corning forever. I think more than anything, I think we just want to keep the, our residents safe. I think safety is probably the most important thing right now with all the crazy things that have gone on in the world uh, and in the U.S. So I think biggest, more than any fiscal issues, is safety. In Ithaca, Savante Myrick is reflecting on his first year as mayor and is also looking forward to spending more than $5 million in state and federal money to renovate the commons. And we're going to add hotel rooms. We're going to add apartments. We're going to get more people living in, walking around, using the bus in our downtown. And, and we think that's uh, only going to make the city a, a better, brighter, safer place to live. And as always, everyone here at WENY-TV will be there covering everything going on in your community throughout 2013.